some women know how to do a Bible study. She said they know how to study words. They know how to answer the questions. It's easy for them. Whereas the women in majority world cultures are less familiar with that and know how to go about it. But if you ask a Western woman, has she heard from God? She, she doesn't have, she, she doesn't have the, the ability to say yes or no. I mean, she, she really just doesn't know how to answer. She doesn't know how to encounter God. And now again, I know that some of my, my very, um, reformed and and uh cessationist friends are like hey no we have the word yes i agree we have the word and but god speaks through his word and speaks to our hearts and and realities where you know it's him or you know it's not i mean we're getting into deeper waters right now but she said those women from majority world cultures don't have a problem hearing from god whereas the women in the western world very much do yeah and i don't know if you saw the statistics I can't remember if it was Pew or where the data came from, but it was talking about the decrease in denominations in the United States and every single denomination decreased, but two, uh, the Presbyterian church in America had a huge jump. And I'm going to attribute that to a lot of factors, no less being Tim Keller, uh, yeah. just bringing awareness to the PCA and just showing the intellectual and cultural yeah. ability to interact. But the other one was the assemblies of God. And that's not a surprise when you look at it globally, especially yeah. as we become more multicultural mm -hmm. and you see majority world cultures. Now there's error in that as well. And that's what I find my friends are so quick to point out that there is error and I'm not denying that, but there's also a lot of good yeah. and there's a corrective that I think is going on D just to answer your point yeah. of how we can't hear. Yeah. And I think if we interact with some of our brothers and sisters and learn to hear, yeah. I mean, even when I started off in pastoral ministry, there were prayer meetings and people seeking God. And I don't see those very often anymore. No. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, it's like get creating, being open to silence. I mean, and there it's, what's funny is there's often like high liturgical con traditions that do actually understand the structures for this to like, they understand the structures of what I would almost call like spiritual pregnancy in a community. Like, how do you wait? And expect and prepare and hear but then sometimes the high liturgical traditions also lack uh other spiritual muscles um you just said something oh I, i'm i happen to be in a moment of agonizing over kind of updating comment magazines manifesto like just sort of who are we what do we believe and what is the story we're inhabiting and trying to pick up and run forward with and sort of a 2000 year relay race of this christian social thought tradition and one thing I'm thinking of emphasizing is though we are a magazine, so therefore we are an organ of words and arguments and um, imagination through words and hopefully images and art. We believe in beauty um, very much, um, but it's just this notion of different ways of knowing, like we really believe in different ways of knowing. And that is as much a, I think, majority world versus Western world, if you want to divide the world into those two categories a thing as it is of course men men and women and you know you it's very it's very fascinating if you spend a lot of time in black churches or certain kinds of immigrant churches in the u.s versus like a pca church in nashville or that there are different ways of like i think what's so fascinating about jesus is he could sort of do it all like he could argue up here but there was something in his eyes that if you were deaf but not blind you understood you were encountering god and i think about why is it that i always tear up when i hear someone with down syndrome or someone who has a huge stuttering problem or who is brain damaged or who's a quadriplegic get up in a church and read a passage of scripture mm -hmm. that's like for me there's something there's there's something that they know and that they see that i and all my like quote able-bodied and like mentally like sound um working or whatever the right word is like get tripped up by there's there's like an intimacy they have that is somehow rooted in like apparent sort of weakness and there's just there's other ways of knowing outside of the brain and thankfully mm -hmm. i mean i think psychology today helps us out we there's a reason like the body keeps the score was such a bestseller a couple of years yeah. ago you know we we do i think we are opening up in the west um to non-cognitive uh 18 inches down other ways of, um, ways of, um, of knowing, and even like actually 
probably I'm sure Hebrew, you know, Hebrew scholars would have beautiful seminars on the word to know and like all the different ways, what that actually has meant biblically and throughout the globe over history. Um, but it's something about that actually feels very crucial to perhaps even this question of social change 